Hey everyone, it's Tom here from thisonlineworld.com. I hope you're having an awesome day today. If you've ever searched for money-making apps or apps that pay you, you'll see millions and millions of Google search results and you'll see thousands of YouTube videos that tackle this topic. Believe it or not, back in college, I was very into phone farming. So I have a lot of phones and a lot of experience with trying to make money from phones. And you know, while people probably thought I was a dealer or something back in college because of all the burner phones on my desk, it taught me a lot about the world of making money online. And it also taught me that while well, there's a ton of apps out there that claim to pay you most of them aren't actually worth your time so today I'm gonna to break down eight different apps that make money these apps are mostly passive income apps kind of similar to the ideas I mentioned in my video on passive income ideas for beginners so if you want to turn your smartphone into a money-making device this is absolutely the video for you without further ado let's get into the video So two quick things before we start. And the first is just know that none of these apps are gonna make you rich. These are pretty much passive income slash beer money slash reward apps. You're not gonna be paying your rent or all of your grocery bills with these apps, but I think they're a fun way to turn your phone into a little bit of an income source. And point number two is that most of these apps only work in North America or Europe. I'm gonna try and include a few global apps in here to make it a bit easier if you're watching from somewhere else, but let's get to the apps. All right, so number one on the list of apps that make money is called Mobile Performance Meter. If you live in North America and you want to make between $36 to like $110 or so per year without lifting a finger, this is absolutely the app for you. So what is Mobile Performance Meter? Basically, it's a data collection app that pays you for installing the app and have it run in the background of your smartphone. Specifically, the company behind Mobile Performance Meter is interested in testing cellular networks for their stability and also how their users browse the web and just use the internet and cellular networks in general. So like any data collection app, Mobile Performance Meter basically amalgamates all of the data from their users and sells that to market research companies to help them make more informed decisions. In exchange for running this app in the background of your phone, you get 10 to 30 points per day, which is actually equal to 10 to 30 cents. This might not actually sound like that much, but if you get 30 cents per day, that's actually over $100 per year. I've run mobile performance meter on and off for about two years. It's kind of tough for me because I'm in and out of the country and I travel a bunch, but over that time I've made, I think like $90 from the app. I'm going to put up some screenshots that show me cashing out through PayPal with this app, but you can also redeem a variety of gift card rewards like Amazon or Best Buy or Starbucks. Now you do need a SIM card to actually join this research panel and mobile performance meter doesn't actually accept every kind of phone and carrier. The easiest way to find out if you can join is just to head to their website or download the app and basically enter in your phone's device and your carrier and you'll just get a notification if you can actually join or not. Data collection apps are really all about selling your data for money so if you're comfortable with that I think this is an awesome money-making app to try. The second app that makes money on this list is called Cash Magnet. Let me start out by saying that this app is incredibly sketchy. If you've ever seen those auto surfing websites that pay you for surfing the web automatically with your laptop or computer, Cash Magnet is that, but for your phone. So I've earned $90 to date by using Cash Magnet on a few old Android phones. And what I will say again is this app is sketchy and it's also kind of finicky and takes some getting used to. Cash Magnet was actually removed from the Google Play Store, believe it or not, because of how weird it is. So if you want to use this app, you actually have to head to their website and download their APK file and then install it on your phone. I definitely don't recommend installing installing Cash Magnet on your main phone just because it's, again, a very sketchy app. But if you have an old Android device laying around, I think this app is still worth running for some free money. To turn your phone into a surfing device, you basically have to install sponsored games on Cash Magnet. Each game you install unlocks more passive runtime for your phone. Once you install a few games, your phone can basically run as an auto surfer for a very long period of time. As your phone surfs the internet, you earn points and you can redeem points for Amazon gift cards, PayPal Cash, Bitcoin, and Ethereum. You can redeem at $1 and Cash Magnet works pretty much anywhere in the world. So if you're curious what Cash Magnet surfing actually looks like, I'm gonna put up a little video of my screen working away on my Cash Magnet phones, but people actually get super serious with Cash Magnet. Cash Magnet actually caps phones at $15 per month, but there's people out there with farms of like 50 plus cash magnet devices making hundreds of dollars a month. I don't recommend doing this, but if you want a global app that makes money just by running on your phone and you know turning your phone into a passive income device, I think cash magnet is worth considering. Just remember, don't install this app on your main device and keep in mind that your country actually influences how much money you make because auto surfing is all about selling cheap traffic to people. Depending on where you live, your traffic value will be worth more or less. So just keep that in mind and know that a phone is capped at $15 per month. 
Number three on the list of apps that make money is called the S'more Lock Screen app. So if you want to get paid 10 cents per day just for unlocking your phone, this is the perfect lock screen app to try. And it's pretty much one of the only lock screen apps that's actually left standing because a bunch of them have kind of fallen by the wayside. Now S'more is only available for Android phones and it's only available if you live in the United States. Again, you might be thinking, well, 10 cents for unlocking my phone doesn't seem like that much. Maybe it's not worth it. And I will admit that it's really not that much, but it is a free $36.50 per year. And S'more also runs some surveys once in a while or they ask you short questionnaires you can answer if you want to boost your earnings. So I'd say it's like at most $50 a year, but it is free money. So the way S'mores makes money is it puts ads on your lock screen. And this is exactly as ugly and intrusive as you think it would be. So this is one of the reasons why I think people install S'mores and then kind of get tired of it and uninstall it. The thing with S'mores is you don't actually have to interact with the ads on your lock screen to make 10 cents per day. You also don't have to unlock your phone multiple times per day. So the way I see it is if you have an old Android that you're running cash magnet on or some other money making apps, install S'mores and add $36.50 to your passive income routine. If you don't mind the actual ads on your screen, you can also install it on your main phone and just make 10 cents a day for using your phone like you normally would. The nice thing about S'mores is you only need 100 points or $1 to cash out. And S'mores has a decent option of free gift cards like Amazon gift cards, Best Buy, Starbucks, and they rotate through pretty regularly. So you can actually get rewards in your first month of using this app, which is definitely a plus. If you live in the US and you wanna make 10 cents per day just for unlocking your phone, this is definitely the app to try. So number four on the list of apps that make money is called Dosh. I'm actually super bummed out because this is a US only app. So I, I can't use this one either, but it's actually super cool. And it's probably my favorite app on this list, if I'm honest. But Dosh is actually pretty simple how it works. You basically install the app, you link your credit and debit cards to it. And then when you shop at Dosh Partners, you automatically earn cash back without having to do a thing. So you might be a bit nervous about linking your credit and debit card to Dosh. And you might even wonder why do they need my credit card? Basically the reason Dosh is automatic and it gives you rewards without having to pre-select rebates or redeem anything is it looks at where you spend and when it automatically detects that you've shopped at one of their partners, it can pay you rewards. Dosh uses the same level of encryption as pretty much any popular FinTech app. You can read about their commitment to security on their website and pretty much if you're comfortable linking your cards, I think it's an easy way to automatically earn cash back with your phone. Dosh actually works with thousands of retailers and over 100,000 stores in the United States. So there's plenty of money to be made if you just have this app on your phone. Now, most stores only pay between one to 2% cash back, although you can find stores that pay, you know, four or five or even higher cash back amounts, which is actually pretty insane when you think about a free app paying you that much in cash back. Dosh has a bunch of partners and some popular ones include Walmart, Pizza Hut, Sephora, Dunkin' Donuts. You can check out their website and they have so many partners. So as long as you do most of the spending for your household, I think it's pretty easy to earn cash back with this app. The only downside of this app is you need $25 to cash out and you can cash out through PayPal, Venmo, or direct deposit. Reaching $25 through just cash back, especially if you're only earning one to 2% will take time, but this is a reliable app that pays you. And there's also a few ways you can boost your earnings on Dosh if you're really desperate to get that $25. So you can actually shop online directly through the Dosh app to earn more cash back. If you're booking hotels, you can also book through Dosh Travel and earn up to 40% cash back, which is pretty insane. Dosh Travel has over 600,000 hotels across the world in their network. Bottom line is there's a bunch of ways to make money with Dosh and most of it is automatic. So if you live in the United States and you do a bunch of shopping, I definitely recommend checking this app out because it is free money and it's a reliable app. So give it a go. All right, so the fifth money-making app on this list is called Mobile Expression. So this app is basically identical to Mobile Performance Meter and it's just interested again in how you use your phone and how secure and stable cellular networks are. This app is available in the US, the UK, and Canada, and you can actually use it on iOS as well as Android, which is kind of rare in the world of money-making apps in general. So I've used Mobile Expression on and off over the past two years and my account is finally banned because I've made so many accounts and I've used it on so many different phones. If you can get it working, it is a pretty stable, you know, three to five dollars per month, which again, over the course of the year actually racks up pretty nicely. Like mobile performance meter, you have to run this app in the background of your phone. And in return for doing so, you get two credits every single week. At 15 credits, you can cash out for a $10 gift card to Amazon, Starbucks, or Best Buy. And over the years, I've cashed out through Starbucks a few times and the app has worked for me. It seems like people get frustrated with this app because it either works perfectly and they get credits every single week, 
or it just doesn't credit for some reason or it stops crediting halfway through and people can't actually redeem. So it can be a hit or miss kind of app. So keep that in mind. Additionally, not everybody is accepted into the research panel. So like mobile performance meter, you have to tell them about your phone carrier, your phone model and a bit of demographic information. And based on that, you'll either be accepted into it or not. And there's really nothing you can do if they don't want your data. The nice thing is if you do get accepted, you have a $10 signup bonus after running the app for one week. So I'd recommend checking it out for at least a month to get that $10 bonus. And if it does work for you, it's pretty much 50 to 60 bucks a year for free. So I definitely recommend checking out mobile expression if you're comfortable selling your data and you want even more money from your smartphone. Idea number six on the list of apps that make money is called PEI. And this is not the Canadian province. This is another awesome cashback app. That's pretty much a clone of Dosh, but with a few twists. You install the app, you link your debit and credit cards, and as you spend at PEI merchants, you get cash back automatically without having to do anything. This app is available on Android and iOS, but it is US only, unfortunately. But if you're already using Dosh or you, you want another app that makes money without really having to do anything, I definitely suggest checking out PEI. Like Dosh, this app works with thousands of retailers and all across the country. So you can get cash back automatically for shopping at Starbucks, Target, Chick-fil-A, even Uber and Lyft rides. It's pretty versatile and Again, it's free money without really having to do anything. The main difference between this app and Dosh is that you can actually also cash out through Bitcoin, which is kind of cool. So if you're a bit of a cryptocurrency fan and you want to earn Bitcoin from your phone, I think this is a pretty cool app to consider. Like Dosh, you also need $25 to cash out and you can also cash out through direct deposit if you just want cash and you don't really care about the Bitcoin rewards. Now this app unfortunately has fewer options than Dosh in terms of shopping online through the app or earning cash back at a faster rate. Again, if, if you're mostly interested in passive income, this won't really matter to you. So this is just another way to make money from your phone. And I think it's another sweet app to consider if you live in the United States. All right, number seven on the list of apps that make money is called Drop. If you've been paying attention to the world of fintech or money making apps in general, you've probably heard of Drop just because of how popular it is. So Drop is available in Canada and the United States. And I've been using Drop for about two years at this point and have earned $55. I will say Drop used to be my favorite cashback rewards app in existence. I used to love this app because it let you pick five stores you would automatically earn cash back from just for shopping. So it was kind of like a mini version of Dosh, but it paid a bit more. So recently Drop changed their business model and they took out that five automatic store limit. And it's pretty much now a cashback shopping portal where you have to pre-select offers before you shop in order to earn cash back. You can still shop online through the Drop app to earn more money. and. Where Drop differs a bit from the competition is they have some pretty lucrative signup bonuses if you try different companies or banks or streaming services through Drop. Some of these bonuses pay like over $100 or you know 50 to $100. So if you're shopping around for a new service provider or you're just on the Drop app, I think it's worth checking out. The Drop is still nice because it has free gift card rewards starting at $2. The only catch is to redeem rewards under $25, you have to shop online through the Drop app at least once. I will admit I did like Drop a lot more when it was just passive and you didn't have to do any of these things to enjoy your free gift cards. But if you are an avid online shopper or you don't mind taking the time to pre-select offers before you shop or you want to shop online and you're going to go through Drop first, I think it's an awesome app that still pays pretty well. It's definitely a lot less passive than Dosh, but if you shop online pretty frequently, I think it's another awesome app to consider and hopefully you can get some free gift cards by shopping at stores you already enjoy. The eighth and final idea on this list of apps that make money is called Acorns. Now I have to admit, I used to absolutely despise the Acorns app because it's basically a spare change app that rounds up your spending when you make a purchase and invest the money on your behalf. So here's an example. With the Acorns app, let's say you shop for coffee and you pay $2.60 for your coffee. I know you shouldn't buy coffee because it means you'll be broke forever, so I've been told, but that's the example we'll go with. You pay $2.60 for your coffee. The Acorns app then rounds up to $3 and it takes that 40 cents and invests in. In terms of what Acorns actually invests in, it's basically low cost or low fee ETFs that pretty much track the S&P 500 or major companies in the United States. Acorns actually lets you pick a portfolio, which basically just makes them invest a little bit differently into more stocks or more bonds, depending on your level of risk. In return for doing this, you either pay $1 per month or $3 per month, depending on the, the plan you get, but they are fairly similar. This monthly fee is really why I didn't like spare change apps for the longest time, and I'm still kind of on the fence about it. Basically, if you don't spend that much money per year, you're paying someone $12 to invest 100, 200, a few hundred bucks for you. $12 might not sound like a lot, but in terms of a percentage, Acorns actually charges a very high fee for low spenders. But the reason I'm finally coming around to like this app a little bit more is because I kind of realized that if you're not investing at all and you're scared of investing or 
you don't really have the money to invest, but you want to put a bit of money aside and to learn some of the principles and the terminology and kind of improve your investing knowledge, is $12 worth that? It honestly might be. I will give it to Acorns, they are slowly improving their app and they now kind of have a feature that's like Dosh and Drop where you can shop at more than 350 stores and automatically earn some found money or cash back for your efforts. If you don't want to spend $12 in fees just to have someone invest for you, you can do it on your own. So I'm going to link two free online brokerages down below as well as the Acorns app so you can kind of pick and choose what you want to do. Well, there you have it. Those are my eight different apps that make money and I hope that if you're tired of survey apps or apps that don't actually pay, some of the apps in this video actually help you turn your smartphone into an income generating asset. So again, none of the apps in this video will make you rich, but that's really not the point of what this video is about. Really, I hope that if you can get a bunch of these apps working, by the end of the year, maybe you have you know some help with your Christmas gifts or you can splurge on something for yourself or you can just give free gift cards to friends and families throughout the year as you know a fun little surprise. If you have a favorite money making app I'd love if you could link that down below just so other people have a few more ideas to try out in case some of the apps in this video don't work in their country or just don't work for their phone for whatever reason one more quick thing before I wrap up I'd like to shout out someone who's helping me now making awesome thumbnails for this YouTube channel his name is Kade the creator on Instagram I'm gonna link him down below he's an awesome guy he's really fun to work with so definitely go check him out if you need thumbnails or graphics or anything like that. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have an incredible week and weekend and I really appreciate the support as always. So if you want to leave a like or a comment to let me know what you think, it's always appreciated. Until then, don't forget to check out thisonlineworld.com for more unique ways to make and save money and I will catch you guys in the next one.